Well, boys, we have an exciting story today. Now, I love Uncharted, bro, running through them old cities and things like that, things that ain't been discovered for years. Henry Avery's treasure, bro, that shit slaps. And we've just found one in real life. I'm not even kidding. An ancient Mayan city has been discovered in Mexico jungle by accident. Now, that is one of the coolest headlines you'll read today. None of that Dragon Age transgender shit. None of that what the fuck's going on with that squirrel. This is real real rest in peace to squirrel by the way we're gonna watch this i want to find out more i want to go see if i can set up a search party if you want to join the search party let me know down below we're gonna put on our thinking caps our indiana jones bring a whip we can use it for more than one thing god damn we'll bring some you know some bags some tins of beans and we'll go on a mad one exploring this mexican jungle hopefully we'll find like an ancient spider civilization that will turn us into madam web and then we can have a go at making a cool better movie than that but that's just my 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 goal but we'll see what happens hey eh? i've discovered a huge ancient city huge. Hidden underground in mexico which may give a better understanding of the maya civilization well. Known for their distinctive temples and cities which stood for centuries, but due to factors such as war and disease, the Mayans faded into obscurity around 300 years ago. Okay, so there's a history lesson for you. I've, I've, I've heard of the Mayan, but I know nothing about them. So they were an ancient civilization who built great temples. If you've not seen ancient civilizations on Netflix, holy shit, watch that. That's so cool. Graham Hancock is such a legend. I paused her at a really bad time, so apologies for about that, whatever your name is. But So this is like an old civilization that's been around. They got, you know, herpes or something, and they all died. They started fucking bats, and, like, everyone just dropped dead. I don't know the exact de disease, but I think that's right. You're a genius. Technology, including radar archaeologists are now able to uncover the civilizations in their native north and central american countries as georgina ranard explains i want to also say if they don't show us what this fucking thing looks like inside i'm going to be so pissed off and also it means there's something mad down there that they are hiding from us so that we don't actually know maybe they've like discovered godzilla or i don't know an army of talking chimpanzees that are like humans Leave! That'd be cool also. Deep in the Central American jungle, the trees are hiding treasures. Radar, fired from a plane, peers through the canopy to search for ruins. Well, this look is at in that. Guatemala, but archaeologists have now discovered another huge city, this time in Mexico. They're calling it Valeriana. Now, we don't have any pictures of Valeriana. That's because no one's been there for hundreds I was years. not expecting her to be a middle-aged white woman when she's pulled out that accent. I mean, Valeriana. It's like, it's so funny when you speak to someone and they're like, yeah, so actually, it was a great day, wasn't it? We had a fantastic time. And they pronounce it funny, you're like, well, I was not expecting that. Where did you pull that out? You pulled that out your asshole? What the fuck was that, man? That was sick, God, God damn. So we thought we'd show you what it might have looked like here in this virtual studio. This is a Mayan pyramid temple similar to the ones that would have been found in the city. People worshipped here, brought riches like jade masks, and even buried the dead. In total, the team found almost 7,000 buildings in an wow. area of the jungle about the size of Edinburgh. Wow, Edinburgh, big city in Scotland, and then 7,000 buildings in this area. I mean, this must have been a bustling city. It's a shame someone fucked a chimpanzee and got herpes and killed everyone, but... These things happen to the best of us, bro. I mean, men are men. They lead with their penises and brain second. It's well known at this stage of our lives. I wonder, like, were these guys small? You know what I mean? She saw little holes. I'm thinking, do they crawl and go into these spaces? I would not do too well with that. I don't like my biggest fear is being in a building when, like, Israel sends a bomb and blows it up and I just get crumbled on. That's my biggest fear. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's, I, I also just want to say, like, when they pulled out the green screen, I was like, what the fuck are we doing here? Why can't you show me what it actually looks like? A video, like, we don't want to reveal all the secrets because we found extraterrestrial data that leads to aliens and we actually found a real ray gun in real life. Pew, pew. But what we will pretend is just to put a pyramid on a green screen while someone stands here looking a bit stupid. Does that sound like it'll work? Fuck you. Up to 50,000 people may have lived in this area at its peak in the 9th century. Ninth Alongside century. houses, the archaeologists found evidence of amphitheatres, plazas, and even a sports field for an ancient ball game. What would have been a very ancient ball game, very uh, lush, and I think very striking environment to move through. Things like palaces and temple pyramids 
all of those would have been covered in uh, lime plaster and then painted red, pink, and yellow, and black. There would have been clusters of buildings where people mostly spend their time making ceramics or mostly spend their time shaping stone tools. Um, this part of the world, there's some evidence for marketplaces. So cool. I mean, I would love to see this place. I would love to have discovered this place in real life. I mean, that is the coolest shit ever. I mean, imagine being a guy and you just accidentally walk in. Did, did, did. Hold on, dude. There's a fucking mud hut right there, bro. Oh my god, it's Mine City, bro. So it was discovered in dense Mexican jungle. I'm just going to read this quickly, see if there was anything I forgot to mention. So they are looking for them. To say it was discovered accidentally is kind of a lie. Anyway, this is one of the coolest things I've seen. I mean, imagine the stuff that could have gone on here. They could have sacrificed each other to the gods. They might have had a really nice community or family and friends. They might have all been cousins. We don't know the extent of this. You know, they said there was these almost like theatre areas, parks, so there clearly were these communal areas where people would hang out and, you know, play their first games with a ball, whatever that might have been. What do you reckon they played? What type of sport? Get me. I want some geniuses to let me know down below. But this is a cool-ass story. I'm really, really interested to find out more. Of course, we don't because we're just the common poor people who never get told anything of the real story, and they just hide all the juicy gossip in the, in the archive for the FBI to peruse through. Anyway, that's all from me. Have a great one. Au revoir.